Brad Farrick, Naperville North, and the other DVC boys gymnastics teams getting together at Glenbard East. Glenbard North's TJ Kennedy making a big return after missing a large portion of the season with a broken hand. He's competing in five of six events and shining 9.5 on the floor. Just as impressive on the vault, look at this effort. He adds a silver to his collection with a 9.2. Back to the floor, Huskies a bit short-handed at the varsity level this season, but Cole Robinson has putting a big number up on his mind, 8.15 for sixth place. To the rings and Central's Phil Suko making his way back to ground level after a solid set, 6.9 for ninth. But the Wheaton Co-op ruled the rings, Mike Ramoro showing he's got loads of upper body strength with this transition. He was second with teammates David McDonald and Ethan Sansoni first and third. Back to the Hawks, Dom Del Grosso dealing with a knee injury, you can hardly tell, third on the podium, 8.5. Freshman Ryan Durkin also doing his share, flares galore in his horse routine, good for third, he was also third in the all-around. But team-wise, no one was touching the group from Wheaton, Danny Heller on the high bar, double back dismount, 9.15. Then the parallel bars and McDonald, the only gymnast above nine on the apparatus, Sansoni repeats his all-around champion, Wheaton smashes the field. I think we had at least four hits. If we had put five guys, we had five for five, we're going four for five. And that's just an important thing going into the state series. You just want to have that consistency. At the beginning of the year, we weren't sure how much, uh, what we would be able to accomplish. But as later in the year, we got closer to breaking 140s and 130s. And then now we're just going to practice uh, like our hard sound. Just hope that we can probably make it to state as a team, break like 140 finally.